Hello there, what is up? This is Mastery Light, and obviously this is a review because of the title, and I don't even know what the hell I watch this show. Seriously. Okay, so I just watched this show, like, finished watching it a minute ago. Like, it's called Kashimashi? Kashimashi? Girl means girl, which is so weird because like I don't even know why I watched it. Okay, so yeah, you get the point. So I give you opinion. I gave you a short summary of this first episode, which has contains no spoilers. Um. And you get the point. So, yeah, pretty much to me, this show has like the same message as Persona 4, but it just has a love story in it, so who cares? Which. Okay, no, I, okay, no, I, I just want to state a fact right now in the show. Pretty much, okay, the main character looks like a cute girl, but the main character used to be a dude. Literally. Like, okay, the main character used to be a dude. Um, what, what's the main character's name again? Hamazu, uh, something like that. Hazamu, yes, 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 that's what this is. Okay, so right now I'm on Wikipedia. I'm gonna read you a summary, the, the plot summary that they have for like the first episode. Yeah, but first, I'm gonna tell you like the opening scene of Kashimashi. So it's the show starts off with like these two girls they're like kissing and then another girl walks in and drops her books like it was at school inside a classroom. There's no teachers around. Okay, so yeah. And then it goes to the scene where there's an emo looking guy. With long hair whose hair covers most of his face. This is not really that long, it's just his hair covers his face, so you can't really see his face. And we find out that the boy's name is Hazumu. So, yeah. He. He's on a mountain walking after like having his heart broken after being rejected by a girl named uh, Isuna and yeah okay no I'm now I'm just gonna do just start reading in summary the plot summary from from Wikipedia, so okay, let me read it. At the start of Kashimashi, a young high school boy named Hazamu Ars. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. This is why I'm Canadian, okay? Okay, no, that's actually not the reason why I'm Canadian, but who cares? So, declares his love to. Classmate and close friend Isuna, but she quickly rejects him. Dejected, Hazumu climbs Mount Kashima and is killed when an alien spaceship accidentally crash lands on him. To rectify this, 
the alien in the spaceship named Hitoshi Sora brings Hazmu back to life, but inadvertently regenerates him as a female right down to the DNA level. This change in Hazmu serves as the catalyst for the development of character Okay, integration. Uh, yeah, I see that says integrations. Um, inter. Yeah, I see. For the remainder of the series. So, yeah, this is a summary of the first episode. Wait, do I get my opinion? Okay, so. Yeah. To me, it pretty much has the same message as Persona 4. Like, okay, so the show has, like, 12 episodes and one OVA. So, yeah, and the OVA takes place after the 12th episode. And the OVA takes place six months after the 12th episode. So... Yeah, wait, so, okay, pretty much, Hazmu was turned into a girl forever. This guy has no chance of ever being a dude ever again. Like, it's so funny, because, like, the scene where he like returns from the spaceship after they repaired his body like was just weird like seriously so right now I'm actually looking since I'm looking at the Wikipedia page and I was looking at the pictures like I went on um, Google images so I can find pictures for this video and I noticed something they had a game cover on there for a PS2 game which I had Wikipedia open at the same time so I went back to Wikipedia I looked at it I went down the page and I saw that they had a freaking game no that can no no no, no. They, they, they shouldn't have a game the show was even worth it. They had bad voice acting. Seriously. Like, the show had bad voice acting. Okay, so. The show had bad voice acting. Like. I remember who saw it. I don't know really who. It's not, I can't. Renamed to voice actors that I heard some of the voice actors before in different anime series. And yeah, obviously, I was watching this in English since I am Canadian and I don't really want to take the time to read subtitles. So, yeah, Canadian. Don't mind the phone. So, yeah, I finished watching this at. I don't forgot when. Honestly. Uh, Like, okay, but seriously, the show is weird. Like, I just gave you my opinion. I just want you to watch it for yourself. Like, fully just watch it for yourself, man. Or read the manga. Don't, don't you read the manga. Don't, don't, don't bother. What the hell do I just get on my hands? Ew, I have stuff on my hands. That's nasty. Okay, so... Yeah, it's just weird as weirdness and gets super weird. So yeah, it's just weird. Keyword weird. But man, I feel sorry for the main character because this dude is turned into a chick forever. 
like every single part of him down to the last molecule was turned female. That is sad. Like, you know how pissed I would be if that happened to me? I would be like, holy fridge! Turn me back into a dude right now. Like, seriously. Nah. Like, okay, so, pretty much in the series, like, Hazumu's dad is, like, a real whatever, um, per, and his best friend, um, I forgot his best friend's name was, I really care right now. Oh, and like, seriously, there's actually one episode that they called, um, I think it's called Girl Triangle. Let me check right now. Since I'm on Wikipedia anyways. So, yeah, let me check. Yes, yes, the fourth episode, Girl Triangle. Like, okay, there's only one episode that... It's so emotional, shocking. I sorry, like it's just emotionally, just like emotional. Like it has, like the episode was the most emotional. That that was the most emotional. It's like episode eleven, and the OVA kind of you no. Know, the first part of the OVA was funny. But. No, I'm surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if I was like the only Canadian in the whole entire world to do a review on this. Like, how long is this video already? Um, pretty much 12 minutes. Okay, that's great. That's so sad. So, I'm pretty much going over my regular time limits because I like to stay at like 11 minutes ish. So, yeah. So, if you've watched this series, read the manga, played the stupid game. Just leave a comment and tell me your opinion, like seriously. Um, yeah, you can find all these pictures on Google. Right now, I have, I'm pretty sure this video is going to have at least um, 36 pictures. Okay, so if you like this video, push the like button. If you dislike this video, push the dislike button. You can subscribe. Because I'll surely have a, more reviews. This is my third one. I think I already said that. Maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. Who cares? So this is my third one. And next review I'm I make it will probably be a game because I'm I don't feel like doing two reviews for like two anime shows in a row. <sighs> no, maybe I'm going to do a review on SSX since I just beat it like last week on Friday. No, no, two weeks ago on Friday. I'm gonna make a review on that. It took me actually, it took me like, it hardly took me any time to beat the game. It took me like one day to beat the game. Maybe because it was, like, I played the game before. So, like, comment, subscribe. Leave an opinion in the comment section. Um. If you think the show is just weird, just leave a comment. I don't really care. I honestly will surely never watch the show ever again. Okay? You get the point. So, see y'all like probably next time in my next video, which is most likely going to come up later on today. So, yeah. So, it's like 12 o'clock, literally, right now. For me, it's 12 p.m. It just turned 12 p.m. just like 10 seconds ago. So, see ya. 14 minutes, eh? It's 30 seconds. So, yeah.